And for Wagyu, a lot of times I don't like to do the hard sear. So when you get like um, a dry age steak or uh, like American prime steak, you, you cook it, you get that Maillard reaction of all the sugars. When you cook Wagyu like that with all of the fat, you're, you're losing a lot of that like depth of flavor and texture, in my opinion. So when I cook Wagyu, I like to cook it at a little bit lower of a temperature. This is a ribeye, so I'm gonna start it off in a pan warm hot, sear it just a little bit, and I'll show you what I mean by that, and then we're gonna baste it to get it warm all the way through. Uh, first, we're going to start off with uh, salt and pepper. When you season, salt high, so it falls like snow, right? You want it to be evenly seasoned. If you do the, the emerald bam, you're gonna end up with like plops of salt here and there, you're doing a salad, you're doing a burger, you're doing a steak, it doesn't matter. You're going to end up with an uneven seasoned um, food, so we don't want that. Next, we're going to use some, uh, some black pepper. Really important. You can even buy the McCormick black pepper that are already in, like, the little plastic things you can, you can grind. Not the best, but better than buying anything pre-ground. When you crack pepper, you're going to get the fresh oil out of it. That's what, make pepper taste. That's what makes pepper taste good, so uh, don't, buy, don't buy, like, pre-done pepper. If you do only have the pre-ground pepper, maybe just skip it. I like a liberal amount of pepper on my steak. Um, I would usually do a, probably a little bit more for an American prime, um, but for Japanese wagyu, I just want a little bit. 